Ah, oh, yes, I can feel the dark side of Homebrew August 2022 for the PlayStation Vita being upon us. And, uh, yeah, we're going with Darth Vader. In pink? He's the unoriginal choice, and I'm sticking with him, darn it. Greetings, fellow Vita fans. This is James with PS Vita at 2 a.m. Coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, along with very light swearing from time to time, apparently, don't forget to subscribe and make sure to leave me your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section. Well, it's officially August 2022, so uh, let's get this shoe on Zeru. Here is all of the hacks and homebrew news that I could find for you all since my previous video, which I guess by default would just be in July. Uh huh. So here's all of the August stuff. And before I start things off real quick, I just have to say, Rin was busy. Because he gave us the likes of Pekakana 2. I hope I'm saying that correctly. You're not. A game that, for whatever reason, makes me want to eat some KFC. So as far as this game goes, well, the information on it is pretty sparse. According to at least what Google Play has to say, because this is in fact based off of an Android port. And of course it's Google. You can always trust Google, right? Well, except for that whole Google Plus incident. Pekakana 2, or Pekka the Rooster 2, I guess it's known as two names for some reason, is a classic run and jump game made in the spirit of old classic platformers. And that's about all it has to say. It did get some very high reviews on Google Play, so I'm assuming that's one of the reasons why Rin wanted to bring it over. Plus, look at this mascot, guys. Doesn't that just make you want to bite off a drumstick? I know it does for me, and it should for you too. So if you're a platform fan much like myself, then, well, this will be a very welcome addition to our homebrew library. Just don't lick your screen. Oh, wait a sec. This is the PSV. It has a touch screen, so go ahead and lick it. Okay, so the next release is dedicated to all of you bug lovers out there. Like, the one or two of you that exist. This game is called Bugdom, and yeah, you are right, it does give you a Bugs Life vibes. And considering this game came out back in 1999, I guess that pretty much makes sense. So you play as Rolly McFly, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, I see. Very blatant copyright dodge there, game developers. Anyway, you play as Rolly McFly, a pill bug on a quest to save ladybugs from King Thorax's iron grip on the bug dumb. Because, you know, ladybugs always have to be the damsels in distress. Wait a sec, aren't some of them males? Well, anyway, um, you know, if you like A Bug's Life or Ants or any of those other weird anthropomorphic insect movies, then I suppose a game based around this concept will fit some of its key audience very nicely. And I know there are certain parts of the world out there that eat bugs and like candy and stuff, so maybe this is making you hungry too. And I gotta say, as 3D platformers go, I'm kinda curious to give this one a try. I unfortunately never got a chance to try the original back when it was released in 1990. So, I guess we'll have a chance to do so now on the best handheld ever. Well, Rin was busy once again because he gave us, no, nay, graced us with RVGL, which, as some of you in the homebrew community might know as a port of Revolt, which some of you who have played the actual franchise may recognize as an RC car racing game. Yeah, I remember playing this game back on the Dreamcast in demo disc form only because I was a sad, sad, poor individual. So what the heck is this RVGL nonsense then if it's just Revolt? Well, RVGL is a cross-platform rewrite slash port of Revolt that runs natively on a wide variety of platforms, which now we know is Vita included. And I will say one thing, the PS Vita can always use more racing games because we didn't get quite as many as I personally would have liked officially for the platform. And I absolutely love the Dreamcast version of of Revolt, so I'm really looking forward to checking this one out, as well as flipping over all of my cars into the water hazard below. I'm a fan of the series, and if you are into the whole RC car racing thing, then uh, yeah, your dreams have come true. You were dreaming about this game, right? So you all have any moments where it feels like the planets are just lining up for you? Well, I had a similar feel just a few weeks ago when I had talked about the fact that somebody had found a way to port over the original Fallout game to the PS Vita, and then just like literally a few days later, as in like, less than two, somebody found a way of porting Fallout 2 to the PS Vita. Certainly this can be no coincidence. So uh, yeah, let's talk about Fallout 2, a post-nuclear role-playing game. Yeah, it's a very long title now, isn't it? This game just screams 90s subtitles. So as one would expect, Fallout 2 is a sequel to the critically acclaimed game that took RPGing out of the dungeons and into like a dynamic apocalyptic retro future style thing. Yeah, sounds about right, right? Yeah, I think that's the best way to describe it. It's been 80 long years since your ancestors trod across the wasteland. As you reach for the Garden of Eden creation kit to save your primitive village, your path is strewn with crippling radiation, evil mutants, and a relentless dream of lies, deception, and treachery. <sighs> 
Was that dramatic enough for you all? You begin to wonder if anyone really stands to gain anything from this brave new world. So if you were PC gaming much like I was back in the 90s, this is a game that will truly make you wet your pants with joy. I guess that'd probably be the only time we ever would wet our pants with joy now, wouldn't it? Yeah, sometimes I do it for fun. Did I mention Edrin has been busy? Because he's been busy. He has now given us the obligation of enjoying, which might I add, it's an obligation I think we can all get down with, the Tomb Raider collection, which is Tomb Raider 1 and 2, now in 60 frames per second, native HD resolution, so we can see Laura in uh, all of her goodness. Oh, is it hot in here or is it just me? And I remember back last year, we experienced something very similar to this release with a Tomb Raider title, but now we can experience both Tomb Raider 1 and 2 in all of its glory. And Laura's 3D polygons. Did I mention that Laura has 3D polygons? Because she has 3D polygons, tank controls and all. And I'll admit, I know this is probably a hot topic for some people, especially if you're not a retro gamer. I personally really like tank controls. Yes, I get it. They're not for everybody, but I think that depending on the title, they actually fit better than uh, non-tank controls do. And while the newer installments of Tomb Raider are absolutely fantastic, it is nice to go down memory lane once in a while, now with fully realized Laura polygons. Who wouldn't love that? I'm certainly loving that. You know, sometimes you run across some homebrew games that just make you question your sanity. And also your own taste because you surprisingly kind of dig what comes out. I faced a very similar situation once again with this title. Yes, somebody out there painstakingly recreated the Pokemon card game for the PS Vita. And honestly, I'm not even 100% sure what engine this is running off of. Maybe it's like something from Yu-Gi-Oh or whatnot? I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> the Pokemon card game. You can play Pokemon, but not with cards because you know it's all digital. now on the PS Vita. Yeah. Don't really have anything else other to say than that. I'm not really into Pokemon personally, so I'm kind of afraid of putting my foot in my mouth. So, uh, next segment. Okay, so here we are now at the most biggest and shockingest news of all. Mostly due to the fact that I thought this project had been long abandoned because I thought it was impossible on the PS Vita, but <laughs> I guess it just goes to show that with a little bit of love, anything is possible. So according to a Twitter user by the name of G... L33NT Wine? Glean Twine? I don't know what that's supposed to say, but anyway, according to this individual, they have the Android version of Dead Space up and running on the PS Vita. And according to them, it's a 140 second preview of Dead Space and all of the gameplay that entails it so. This really surprised me. Maybe they're doing this with Yo-Yo Loader or something like that. I haven't looked completely into it just as of yet. And quite frankly, I just like seeing Yo-Yo Loader, so I felt it deserved a little bit of a cameo for this topic. But it would seem that something is now made this game possible for the PS Vita, and I know that many of you out there are going to be super excited to be playing this on the platform. And I'll definitely keep you up to date on anything new I hear regarding it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Would this count as a pants waiting good time too? Because I think it does. Regardless of it all though, I have certainly wet my pants during this video, and that, as they say, is that. This will conclude all of the homebrew news I could find for you for August 2022. So guys, I would love to know, what parts of the video excited you the most? Which games have you already tried out? Which ones are you looking forward to? Heck, which one of these games here did you not even know was a thing on the PS Vita? Please leave me your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below where we can have a nice hearty chat about it, because I absolutely love to chat. And no, it's uh, not because I'm a lone individual in real life anyway and as always follow Vita fans thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video it really means a lot to me love you all and I'll see you next time now if you'll excuse me I'm gonna finish being lonely over here in the corner this video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous supporters who help make this content possible. So a huge thank you goes out to Dr. Super Artie, Ricardo Martinez, Donut Valley, Nintendo Switch at 2 a.m., Azumara, 1488 Dental, Rizal Pliskin, Buzz Saiyan, Matt Hargit, Mazgus, Tasha Monti, Eric DeWitt, Juan M. Hermosillo, Furs and Mystery, Kayonko, Hector Gonzalez, Jamie, PSP Guru, Starlight Mirror, Last Rated 87, No Good, Aridri, Franz Hartle, Sabin Fire, Chris Foxhound, Catherine.uk, Meshuga360, Shin Snake, Alan Iwazu, Zakrito, Wathorga, Airkick72, Bushin Ryu Cat, Milk Sama, New Arashi, Reiko Star, Matt Fox, B Mystery, McKee's Blob, Berserker Games, Randy Azadich, Michael O'Connor, H Hitter, Jelle, Joseph Shavak, Richard Cruz, PS Vita S, Adam Sony, Hero Acer, Rodrigo Vera, Crazy Cat, Heston Joseph, 
Kevin Enright, Jared Hado, VG Legends, Clayman Malarkey, BMF, Skullshare 2 Gold TCG, Adam Thury, Per Sterner, Silica, JR, Kyle Brooks, Saul Ramirez, Phantom XRS, David Ray, Wendy K, Hemdall Imbert, and Gutter Drums. And a huge thank you to Michael March and Blaine Locklear and Thomas Cromet for the recent outside donations. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and gaining access to a number of perks, including having your name featured on the end credits of these videos, or if you wish to remain anonymous that can be provided to, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Amazon and PlayAsia for anyone who is interested in purchasing something from them. Basically the way it works is so long as you use one of those links to just access their website, then anything you purchase afterwards, a small commission will go to help support this content at no extra cost to you, the consumer. I also have channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. So all these games were fine and all, but where's the Star Wars stuff? I mean, I did have Darth Vader in the opening of this video, so what's up with that? Oh wait a second, that's my fault, isn't it?